hello i am back again today you just saw me do um in the last video i did a shirt with this image on it using easy subly paper the image was in reverse <laughs> because i initially printed that image on sublimation paper and i put a piece of easy subly on top of my printer and it took that sheet instead of the easy subly sheet so that's how i wound up with the reverse image because you do not mirror easy subly paper um that being said my name is catrice <laughs> and i am about to do this image on this black mug which is one of the color changing mugs i shouldn't say color changing um you put something hot in here the black goes away and it's going to show this image so I don't know if he's right-handed or left-handed, but we're going to assume that he is right-handed because I am. So I'm going to put this image on this mug here. So to make sure I get it lined up accordingly, I'm going to get some tape, put it at the top of the bed's head. About here, so I know this is the top. So what you currently hear now is my mug press because I have it preheating. Are oh, you just saw me wipe the mug down with alcohol and i am putting the bear on the mug where i think i want him to go so right about here i'm gonna put that down see how i like it good 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 and then i'm gonna put a little tape on the other side and I think I'm just gonna do both sides all right so my mug press is already ready I like to take a piece of paper sub paper and wrap it around this as well to not burn everything else so let me get a piece of that and put this press down so we're gonna cut this big sheet this is right here we're gonna cut this i'm gonna cut the rest of that to make the uh, other mug pieces to cover our mug And this is how I'm gonna sit the paper inside my mug press. Okay. I think I want to, let me see something if I'm drinking. I think I'm gonna move the image out a little bit. I feel like it's too close to the handle. So I'm glad I looked at that. I'm gonna move this tape. I already wiped the uh, glass down with alcohol. Then we're gonna go test it. think we're good I think we are good I'm trying to look through it to see if I can see exactly where the image is you can't really see through the sub paper but I want to say I got it I got the 504 even on here so yeah we're gonna do that all right and now we are gonna take our piece of sub paper and we're gonna sit this in our press you can use uh, what you call that silicone around it but I'm not gonna do that 
normally I would. I have a piece of silicone cut specifically for this and I would normally do that. So I'm going to bring you guys over here to my mug press, which I move right here. My mug press is from Heat Press Nation. And that is it. This is, I don't know if you can see the temperature and time on it, but I use... 376 for 210 seconds so we're going to slide this where's the image it's on this side here i'm going to slide this this whole pattern should be hot so it shouldn't matter we're going to sit it there i like to let it rest there and squeeze and once i do that it's doing a countdown so in about 200 seconds, <laughs> the mug press should beep and we should have our product. And then we're gonna take it to the front. We'll look at it and we'll see if it passes the, the test and whether or not it's the actual good mug. And if it does what it says it's supposed to, which means once your hot liquid hits it, your image shows. So that's what we want. I got the mug from animation sublimation or something like that. I'll put the link in the description. And yeah, I'll be back when the mug press things. Okay, we are back. And this is the mug. The mug is white as you can see. <laughs> I might have burned all the the heat off of it. The handle is still black. I went in the front to, to fix some shrimp and came back and this is this was it. This is what it looked like. So hopefully, I mean this part here is still cool. So maybe it'll it'll go back to its its color. We'll see what happens. But let's see what the image looks like. It is still hot. The review. See, look like that paper just don't want to come off. The paper is still there. Just pull off the tape. Yeah, that's probably why. Because the tape won't even come off. The paper won't come off. That's not good. Where is my tool and a glove? Because we want that paper to come off. I know you don't wash it off. I would think that it works the same way. Other sublimation mugs work. Grab some gloves so we can hold it while we try to peel that paper off. It is not moving. What the hell? That's weird. What is wrong? I don't want to scratch the mug. Really, guys? Because to be honest, it should have come off when I pulled that tape off. But what I can say is happening is the mug is going back to its original color because you see as it cools, the handle is cooling. Um, we're gonna have to figure out how to get this off of here without scratching the mug. 
Maybe we have to wait until it cools. Okay, you just got to tear. You see it up under there? It's coming off. We gonna get it off. Woo! It's hot, peoples. It came out nice. Maybe it's a cold peel, <laughs> like with vinyl. That is hot. I don't know. Hopefully it ain't the paper. I use this paper house of vinyls out here in New Orleans. I just think I let it sit on here too long. Like I said, I was in there frying shrimp and I was busy fixing my little salad. And I heard the beeping and wasn't paying attention to what was beeping, knowing that I was just back here doing the video. Y'all, I get sidetracked real quick in this craft thing. Crafting and cooking at the same time ain't never good. Oh my god five minutes in and that's where we are so guys i'm gonna fight with this for a little bit i'll come back and let you know what i did to peel it off whether i let it cool a little bit longer um we'll see if the color changes back to black if i had to wet it at all and i will i'll let you know but it's too hot for me to keep trying to peel it off so I'll come back and let you know how it turns out. Okay, as you can see, the mug turned back to its black color. However, I feel like I can see the image through it. So I don't really know how I feel about that. And then another thing, the tape mark from where the heat tape was. I can see that, so I don't know if it's still getting darker, but that's there, so I don't really know how I feel about that. But we're gonna see <clears throat> if it goes away and reveals the image when cold water hits it, or is it hot water? Cold water? I don't know, we're gonna test it with cold though. So it's heat activated, which would make sense because we heated it with the, uh, I should have put the cold water, the cold water would help it get its black back quicker. And I don't think it's gonna get any darker than this. Right? So with that, we're gonna use our tea. We're gonna heat that up. Pour this water in here. And test the color. Alright, I feel like it's hot enough.
pretty cool. So the only thing, the only issue I, I take with it is that you can kind of see the, the design through the black and it leaves a tape mark. Now I'll try to wipe that down with some alcohol to see if it goes away, but I doubt that it does. We're gonna pour this out. You can see the image. And I'm going to rinse it in some cold water so it can change back to black. But if you let it sit, it'll change anyway. Cold water. That's what it does. So we just need to figure this part out. I don't know if, if if that's the thing with other people that you can see, kind of see. I heard my girl say it in my Facebook group that you can still see your image through it. She has the frosted mugs, which she didn't really care for because um, it's frosted and she said they scratch. There are no scratches on this one. This one's not really frosted, but it is a matte finish. But <clears throat> yeah, I do take issue with the fact that I could kind of see the design in it. See it right there. Alright, that is that. Guys, as always, thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe to my channel and until next time, peace.